Hi Mark Savage here and welcome to my channel. Yes, it's a speed fight too. I am still working on the Jalera DNA. Uh, nice exhaust on here now, mirrors. I've got to build a frame to bring the whole thing up so I can get the forks down because it hasn't got a centre stand. And yes, I've got a Speed Fight 4 video coming out that I've done up on, and I've got another Speed Fight 3 video coming out that is E10 fuel problems. And this is what I think this is. Now, this is not your normal Speed Fight 2. What I mean by that is, this was owned by Andy, a nice fella. Met him last night. He's into models. Now, I don't mean like, oh, look, a Hornby 101. I mean these models are like a thousand odd pounds, big trucks that light, sound, air brakes, you name it. I was a bit taken aback, actually, if I'm honest with you, by seeing, you know, how much passion he's got. This thing had a rig on it, and anyway, he's into models. But it's also a one owner speed fight, 2007, 22,000 kilometers, 18,000 miles. Now, is this. E10 fuel problem, we will see. Now while we're on the subject of E10, I have had an awful lot of views on my other video. I think it's 38,000 at the present minute. And I've had a lot of people saying it's in their country, like, you know, really nice climates, that it's no problem, had it years here. Um, I've had others saying it's absolutely terrible stuff. Other people again, back and forth it seems to be going. Now, a lot of you come up with the idea of how easy it is just to take the ethanol out and away you go. But let me explain, it's not easy. It may be easy if you've got a nice big garage, you've got a car, and you can pop up to the petrol station if they allow you in England to fill up the 20 litre tank, because a lot of them don't like doing it. Two cans, small cans maximum. The law in England still states now you're not allowed to have that much petrol in your garage to check your insurance before you start doing this. But they are saying you get these big 20, 30 litre uh, camping tanks. So you pour all the petrol in the top, then you get a bottle of water with um, colourant and you pour it in there and eventually all the ethanol and the water bond together at the bottom of the tank and you then one of them camping ones, you can undo all of the water out of it and then you've got pure petrol in there. It will be a lower octane, down to 90 I guess, which isn't brilliant. You can add it to it, so you can get an octane additive, costing money. There is a fuel fighter out there, E10 fuel fighter, which I suggest actually is not a bad idea getting, because then you can pour that in. Now remember, this ethanol, and it's mainly, no one can deny this, if you leave it in your motorbike, moped, car, whatever. Remember, these petrol tanks aren't sealed, they have to have a small hole, to suck through to get the petrol out. There's a vacuum system in there, it has to be that. That will suck in moisture. You know when it gets cold, the front of your windscreen, it's happening now even when it's warm at night um, and it cools down, you get moisture on your windscreen. You're gonna get that in your tank. This will suck in water. It mixes with ethanol and then you get water in your tank. It, the ethanol also swells the tank because it gets warm and then cools down because it's above the engine. It will damage all the bits inside. It isn't good. Someone else said, look, 5%, what does it matter? I try to explain, it's like an overdose, you know? You can have one tablet, but you take 20 tablets all at the same time, it's not good for you. Ethanol is not good. And a lot of cheeky petrol stations aren't telling people, they might have the little sticker saying E10, and in Sainsbury's the other day, it was seven and a half foot up in the air, had a little stack sticker making your responsibility, saying that you may, may not like go, ugh. It's your responsibility to fuel your motor, taking responsibility away from them. And then saying, check the government site, which doesn't say enough. It says 10 cars on there. Golfs won't do it. Nissan Micros won't do it. it. Doesn't say all about the Peds, does it? So there's a lot of people going to be breaking down, and I'm thinking this may be this problem here. Going back to what I was trying to say, so it's okay if you've got a garage, that part there. But unfortunately, a lot of 16 year old lads who own mopeds, 17 year old lads of 125s and etc., they haven't got a garage, they haven't got petrol cans that they can shoot up and back with, they haven't got the same, you know, they live in a flat. You can't do it. So, your explanation how easy it is, is fair enough for you, and I could probably get away with it as well. But some of these, and large majority of these lads can't, okay? They just use this to get to college, get to work. They don't want to go back up and forth. And can you imagine, you've got to add your 2T in here, and you've got another bottle of E10 additive, and 
How much is that going to start costing you at £10 a pop and does 20 litres? Not fun, is it? Back to this bike, though. I just wanted to add that in because it is relevant. And especially if this is the problem with that as well. I think it may be. But it's still got to strip the carburetor and have a good look around it. Have a look around it now with me. It's a long time since I've actually seen one in this condition and in this colour. Now, he said the front suspension was done recently. I'll show you that's a bit shit because the spring's working, but the dampness most certainly isn't. Uh, it's well too floppy, and I'll go through that in a minute with you. The exhaust should have a cover, but it's a second exhaust on there. Um, the original one lasted a bloody long time, and that's amazing. I'm going to change that for a sports exhaust. But the general look, and this he said he did pretty early on. Now, moving off of Jalera, don't worry about the white lines. I just wanted to see what it looked like, and I think it looks nice. I'm going to get proper decal decal lines on it but i think it's starting to look quite nice and exhaust anyway moving along this little one here has got a nice seat on it um, it's an old one i had for years um, can't go back on the road so i'm gonna take some parts off and the black one over there i will be taking the sports exhaust off of that one and putting it on this little one here so what have we got to do to this immaculate because it honestly is immaculate I'm really impressed with the condition. Andy done a lovely job of keeping this in really good nick. So it's starting. Front brake's completely gone. Now, it can be the uh, mass cylinder, which more than likely... There's a little ball in there, and it gets trapped sometimes. A little trick you can do is drain out the fluid, tap it on the top, and then fill it back up again, and sometimes it works. Nowhere in the manuals that say that, but I've done it many times before. Don't know this one, we're going to have to check it out. The suspension, let me explain. Watch. You can see this bouncing bit. You know, it shouldn't do that, okay? And I reckon when he's riding along, if he did hit a little bit of a few dips or pothole, he would have got this bit with it. That's not right, okay? That's the spring, but no dampener. The dampener, you should get this sort of... Yeah? So, although he said to me the front suspension be done, no way should the bike be doing this down the road. <laughs> That's how you know it's really bad. And as soon as I put it on the back of the bike, I'm thinking, oh, this is a bit... Because you, you also, there's no support in it, so you, you know, the single arm on this, you're moving this way, that way, everything. Not good. So that's something we're going to have to look at. However, I did say it starts, and it does. Look at that. Look. So is that E10 fuel, is that a knackered carb, piston rings, piston itself, big and small ends, any, I, I, I'm tempted to say it could be scoring, um, it could be a ring, but we'll have a look. I think it may be E10 damage and let's see how bad that's going to be. So I'm going to take exhaust off, um, compression test won't really work on these, people do say about the, the pound, but I've, I've, I've had many ones that are knackered. I'm thinking more so that it starts that it may not be. Now, it could even be a block jet. Starting, your idle jet, main jet, could be anything, couldn't it? So we're going to go on the next video. I just wanted to have a quick look around it and see what we're going to do. But um, I'm guessing it's end fueling problems, but we're going to clean the carb, change the exhaust over, give it a good licking over, um, clean the air filter, spark plug, and then see what we have. Front shock, mass cylinder as well. That's what we're going to be doing with this little baby. All in. Thank you, Andy. And his son as well. It's a nice lad. Watch the next video coming out soon on this bike, which will be in a few weeks, I guess, because I've got to release the Speed Fight 4 video, which is next, then release the other, and that was E10 Damage. Thank you so much. Please like, share and subscribe. Watch out for all my latest updates and videos coming out. They will be the Speed Fight 4 finished product. There will be the Speed Fight 3 fueling issues with E10. And it will be this one as well. And somewhere in there will be the Jalera. So good load of videos coming up. Stack to stack, back to back. Stay with me. Thank you so much. Like, share and subscribe. Bye bye. Hello Mark Savage here, welcome to my channel. Yes, I know every time I'm on here I seem to be doing something different and jumping back and forth, but it's just you're a little bit behind, that's what it is. I'm still working on this Jalera, um, changed the exhaust, uh, put some mirrors on it, I've got to build a frame. Um, 
all in. Thank you, Andy. And his son as well. It's a nice lad. You know, <laughs> my son, um, he's old now, um, 22 this year. Um, I tried to get him into doing these, and he was he was sort of like, yeah, Dad. And uh, I said to his boy last night, are you into these sort of trucks and stuff? He was like, yeah. 